Okay, now let's take a look at some limits that deal with uh, roots and radicals. So for this first one, limit as x approaches 3, if I put 3 into the bottom, does not give me a 0. That means I, I don't need to worry about dividing by 0. So this is one where I can just plug the number in directly and get the answer. Square root of 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 4 means I get the square root of 4 over negative 1. Square root of 4 is 2. Since we're dividing that by negative 1, our answer is going to be negative 2. So that one, there's no manipulation we had to work on that one because we're not dividing by 0. It gave us an answer, so we were able to actually get negative 2 as the exact value on that one. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, now this one does not have a fraction, so in this case we don't need to worry about dividing by a fraction, but we have to make sure that we can take the root of the, uh, this particular number. This one, if I plug that in directly, I'm going to do cube root of negative 31 plus 4, and then that's going to give us the cube root of negative 27. So the first thing you might think of automatically is that's undefined because we're taking a root of a negative number. That's only true if you have even roots. You're not allowed to take even roots of negative numbers, but if you have an odd root like this, then yes, you are able to do that. The cube root of negative 27 you are able to do, and that's going to give you negative 3 because negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 would give you negative 27. So if you have an odd root, you are able to take the odd root of negative numbers. However, with even roots, you couldn't. So in this case, if it was a square root, for instance, then this limit would not exist because the answer would give you something that's undefined. But in this case, we are able to do it and we got an exact value of negative 3.